So think pretty decided on the fact that it's all going to have to come out as one big unit with the motor still attached to the Rex engine. Uh, so what I've got to start doing now is trying to make sure that everything is clear. So little things like this, these cables here, we'll get them out of the way just so that when we drop everything down they don't get caught or damaged or anything like that. So let's carry on with that. As I've got to take the engine and motor out at the same time, uh, I've got to try and sort of clear some space. Um, we've got this down here, which is bolted to the car, but not the engine. However, it looks like this is all going to get in the way when I try and drop the engine out. Uh, got this wiring to take apart and then this corner try and look at and see what's staying and what's going and how it's mounted and it is not easy it's obviously very cramped in here and I've got to try and work out fuel lines and coolant and and all of that so um, really slow progress at the moment but we'll get there. Under the car again, uh, I'm going to take this cable out now, which comes around under here. So, taking these bolts out, I've got some thread lock on them, they are quite stiff. So, then I've got to undo that, where are you? That bolt there, and then disconnect it from there. I have to try and get this unit out because it's all going to be in the way so uh, yeah we'll see so I'm going to take out that bolt there and there's another two um, round so I'll take those and see if I can get it off so that worked uh, that's what's underneath so uh, the, there's a connector in underneath here under this sort of heat shield uh, we've got wires that come up round and then down into the, the engine somewhere so uh, I am going to take this sort of heat shield off and then disconnect this plug to enable me to remove this so taking the heat shield here off um, one here nice and easy one underneath which is nice and easy to get to and the third one is there he is behind all that lot all right okay coolant lines are disconnected the high voltage cable down the back there is out of the way so now all i've got to do is undo three mounting bolts uh, top one there there's one about halfway down the back there and then there's one at the bottom, uh, where I, down there somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to uh, do the difficult one at the back first, then the one down the bottom, and then this one at the top. So after some very helpful advice um, from somebody on Instagram uh, to get the drive shafts out, whack a bit of wood there against the casing, get a big metal bar, I've shaped the end of this slightly in there and then so yesterday I was trying to sort of ease it off like this and I was rotating and easing and that's not the way to go uh, get that bit of wood trapped in and then a sharp sort of tap or a bang or you know um, a sharp shock and that got it out so I'm just going to try and show you on the other side
Uh, of course, this side wouldn't be as easy as the other. <laughs> Yay! Easy peasy. There you go, drive shaft out. The day has arrived. Hopefully today we will remove this. We've just got to work out how. So a lot of the stuff uh, that I could get to, oh, sorry, finger in the way, we've disconnected. Uh, there are some pipes and hoses in, in behind here that I can't quite get to. So what I'm hoping is that we can drop it down and then access them. So to drop it down, We've got three engine mounts. There's one of them. Okay, so what you do is... There it is, there's the bolt up there. Where's my finger? There. So we're hoping we can unbolt that and that this rubber piece will slide out. It looks as if it slides out. We're hoping it slides out. But... If we then go inside, there's the mount. You can see just down there, there's all this framework. Now this framework's integral, you can't remove it. So then we started saying, well, maybe we can, maybe we can take all of this out. But getting to all these bolts all the way around is gonna be a, a nightmare. And really, would BMW assemble it in the car or would they assemble it and then just hoik it up and then bolt it in so what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and undo bolt there undo the bolt there and then there's the uh, front mount in there at the bottom which we can get to underneath the car and then we're going to try and twist the engine a little bit that way just to bring these engine mounts out of the way. And then this one over here will come forward a bit. And then we're hoping it will drop down. Well, we'll see. Right, okay, there's the engine mount. I've taken the bolt out, hang on, here. So that was like a one of those hex head type ones. Uh, you know, the Torx type thingies. Now I've got to take that that bolt out there so that's 18 mil bolt so take that out and then this can be dropped out and then we can spin the motor around no. wish me luck so this is the lower front mount uh, so initially I undid this one and this middle one and I was trying to pull it out and it wouldn't come out and I couldn't understand why so then I found the, got to the front one there, undid that, and it comes off really easily then. Uh, but the reason it won't come out is because that conical shape there is holding everything in place. So there we go, three bolts. Um, they all came out fairly easy, no issues there. So that's good. Right, both the uh, bolts are out on the sides. And now we realise that this bit stays with the car we thought this bit would come down with the motor but it's actually separates off there and same on this side so that bit should stay which means we should then be able to drop this straight down so we're going to give that a try now okay so uh you've got your coolant drained down you've got your refrigerant out mounts are out we've managed to drop the engine and motor down a bit uh the cables here, they look a bit tight for when we're going to pull everything out. So we've just uh, unclipped the um, plastic tie wraps and then pulled them out of the way. Uh, this main cable comes all the way down here. It's got these little metal clips. So you just got one clip them from everything. This coolant pipe here uh, goes down to the pump that's just in front of the wheel arch. It was easier to disconnect the pipes at this end than it was to do the one down there and then just sort of pull it back through the wrecks. 
what else have we done? Uh, refrigerant pipes down here. So there's one and there was another one there. So they've been disconnected. What else? That's it for now. I think we're ready to pull it out. There we are. It's all jacked up and bolted in. Yeah, I know. It's the wrong order. Um, but because of the shape of this, that side and that side, we can't actually fit the motor past because it's too narrow. Now, if you had a, if you didn't have the range extender, it'd probably be a damn sight easier. But we do, so we think, think we're going to have to unbolt it, drop it down as low as we can, and then maybe get an engine hoist or crane or something, and lift the back of the car up higher to be able to get everything out. But uh, there's still a ton of bloody batteries under the car. So we're going to move on and take the battery pack out. Fun, fun. Okay, so removing the battery pack, we've got uh, two electrical connections up here and the uh, refrigerant lines going in. And then over, oh my God, this ain't easy. Here we've got the, uh, oh shoot. There we go. So that's the electrical connector that I undid ages ago. Uh, and then, what did we say? 26, I think, bolts to undo. Uh, not a lot of room under at the moment because I've got the uh, dad's bike platform underneath. So uh, I'm going to try and get this out. As well as all the bolts, there was also this screw which was in the driver's side rear corner. Uh, so don't forget that. So I've been around and I've uh, loosened all the bolts off with a ratchet and now I can get my little drill out and uh, take them out all the way. Yeah, the uh, jack goes quite low so I thought that we would clear everything Although I checked the motor height, I didn't check this height. So, as you can see, we've got a few inches to drop more. Uh, probably didn't take into account having these planks of wood on it. So that's a bit of a bugger. We're now in no man's land. Uh, gonna try and jack the car up, I think, to try and get that clear. It's been a, a really busy day, uh, but also really productive. Uh, sold some parts, had a couple of uh, nice chaps come down, um, buy some different bits and pieces, so that was good. And um, had a bit of a chat and a chinwag. Might have found Dad a new car because he borrowed my i3 to go and get me some tools, and uh, I think he quite liked it. So we haven't got the engine and the motor out as we have planned, which is a bit of a shame, but we did get the battery out, the battery pack. So uh, that's good. And that is uh, just down here on the floor. There we go. So um, yeah, all in all, good day. We've got everything ready for the motor to come out, but it just wouldn't come out. I couldn't get the car quite high enough or indeed the motor low enough. But there you go. We'll find a way and we'll get it out. Okay, cheers then and uh, see you in the next clip or the next episode.